All right, now that we get uh, some of those issues taken care of, let's let's go ahead and write some tests. So let's go in here and go to the shoe test. And let's just get some stuff set up here. So let's do make a setup block. And let's go ahead and do user. And we'll just do, let's just use confirmed user for now. So users, and then conf confirmed user, and then we'll do shoe equals uh, at user dot shoes dot build, and we'll do build not create because this will just instantiate the new record, but it won't save it, and that just makes testing it a little easier. Um, and let's just go back to our schema file to see what the bare minimum is. So pretty much everything here is null false. So we need a name. Let's just do name of shoe. We'll keep it generic. Um, we don't need distance in miles. We don't need retired. We don't even need to add that. Um, and we have used, so let's just keep it super simple for now. So just a name. And then we'll do test should be valid. And we'll do shoe.valid. We gotta assert that though. So assert shoe.valid. Let's just quickly see if this works. So test models shoe. All right, so now let's just kind of rifle through a few of these. So should have a name. We'll just do shoe dot name equals nil. Um, actually, let's just do empty string. So we'll assert that it's not valid. Um, what else do we really care about here? Because allowed, okay, so allowed distance in miles, that should probably just be a positive number. Um, should be, I don't even, I'm gonna even say greater than or equal to 100. The reason I'm gonna do that is because, uh, I wonder if I should even do that. Because it'd be weird if you like, wanted to get notified when you had like 25 miles on your shoe. But then again, there are some shoes that have a pretty small um, lifespan, like like racing flats, for example. Like you may not actually, you might actually want to get notified if there's 50 miles. So I'm actually just gonna do maybe allowed distance in miles should be uh, greater than zero. Let's just do that. So we'll do shoe and then allow distance in miles equals zero. We'll, do, we'll assert that it's not valid and let's just do one more, which is uh, do a negative number just to make sure if people don't do something like that. Let's see. This is a mile that's retired. That's all good. So these are gonna fail. So if I, if I run the test again. So those both fail. So let's go into our model and let's just do validates. Um, name, presence, true, and then we'll do validates. Allowed distance in miles. Um, let's see, I can never spell this word. Surprise, surprise. Let's go into activity. Yeah, we'll just do this. Copy that. So it's, we want numericality. Um, only integer, it should be greater than or equal to, actually I should probably update this test, right? Because it should be greater than or equal to one. And also you need to pass in allowed nil here. 
because um, people don't necessarily need to add this value when they're filling out a form, but if they do, it should at least be an integer and it should at least be greater than one. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna actually just go in here and should be greater than zero. Oh, actually, okay, so that's, that's fine. Um, run this test. Cool, that passes. Let us go into, I'm just gonna copy this real quick. Let's go into the user test and let's say should delete associated shoes. Um, and actually what I'm, we can probably just use Oops. We set this up earlier, so let's just use this. So user test. Let's just do count equals. Let's let's get, update our user. So let's just do user equals users confirm user with shoes count equals. I'm actually just gonna pretty much copy this. So and you know what? Let's just do be more explicit. So let's just do user the shoes, user the shoes, shoes.count, and then change total to shoe, and then change that to that user. Rails t test models user test. Cool, that's good. Let's clear this out. And then let's do, let's just commit all this. So git add, git commit. We'll just say test shoe model. And we'll push that up. 